This video is already 30, 30 minutes long. I'm just blabbering. Look at my guns. This is why it's I hope it's not too windy in this video and that you can hear me. We'll see. Today is Wednesday, March 30th, 2022. It is the last day of our little mini vacation for Bobby's birthday. Um, it has been rainy and wet and gloomy and cloudy basically the entire week. Um, and when we are leaving, it is sunny and beautiful. It is 79 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Um, the sun is out, there is blue skies, and we're leaving, so. The biggest thing we wanted to do on this little birthday trip was um, do the Teapot Mountain hike. And I feel like we've been wanting to do this hike for like a year. Um, we saw a video of it even before we moved um, to Taiwan. It's been a long time coming for us to go on this hike and it was so rainy and just terrible, terrible weather. Hiking in the rain. It's great. I believe the goal is to get up there. There's a little pavilion, but you can't see it right now because of the clouds. Here's Emma and Tomo on our hike. Halfway through, we were so miserable. We were in the rain. It was cloudy. You couldn't see the peak. Um, we were basically in a giant cloud and we were like, do we continue? Is it even worth it for us to get up there and not see anything at all? Um, but then right when we were contemplating to we turn around or not, there was a nice little break in the rain and Bobby was like, we have to press on. <laughs> And so we did. Uh, we got up all the way to the top of the hike. There was a nice break in the rain, so we're pressing on. There's Miss Emma. There's Tomo. We made it! We made it to uh, Tahusan. Technically, this is the like peak of it. There's a little trail here that you can go up and then you can climb into the rock and then sit on top of it but since we have our furry friends with us we won't be doing that today but look at this amazing view that we have in the clouds <laughs> in the clouds i felt like i only had probably like two minutes up there that wasn't full of clouds so I got a glimpse of the gorgeous view and then it was all white. Monday we just drove along the northeastern coast of Taiwan and just checked out the scenery. Um, the ocean was very very angry that day. It was like stormy so the waves were so high. There were some that were like three or four stories tall that was pretty insane to look at. Even in the crazy wind and the rain and the mist and the fog, like, it's still gorgeous. Look at that. 
we were out by the ocean, we were drenched, we had our dogs, and we stumbled upon this cute little cafe, and it was dog friendly, which was so great. The owners of the cafe were super, super friendly. Um, this people. What's going on, Tomo? Tomo's all riled up. Definitely. Thumbs up, 10 out of 10, would go again. got back from a little driving adventure, we decided to go to Jofun. So Jofun used to be a gold mining town. Um, it was started by nine families. So that's why it's called Jofun, Jo means nine in Chinese. Um, and what it's actually most famous for is its iconic streets, old streets that are super steep stairs and it's full of um, red lanterns along the side of it. And most people actually know Jofun because it is one of the biggest inspiration for Spirited Away, one of Miyazaki's famous movies, um, that the Red Lantern look, all of that, um, was a big inspiration for him when he was making this movie. So that's how Joe Flynn kind of became really famous. It's definitely a huge tourist spot, but because again, we were going on a Monday and it was rainy, there wasn't a whole lot of people there. There is such a charm to Jotham when it is rainy at night. You have the lanterns lit, you have your umbrellas up, and you hear kind of like the slow drizzle of the rain. It is just really romantic and also a little mysterious. So I highly recommend going to Jotham even though it's, you know, pouring rain. Still check it out and it's definitely a spot that is worth visiting. Obviously it's for Bobby's birthday, so we did whatever he wanted and um, he wanted to stop in a lot of random places to take photos, which absolutely I'm happy to do that. So there were a lot of times where he's like, ooh, cool spot, and then we just like pulled over and he got out with his camera and started taking photos. Um, but we were safe. Mama, don't worry. We were safe. We parked in safe areas, got out very carefully, looked both. <laughs> what? mostly um, looked both ways and he was very careful I stay with the dogs so don't you worry <laughs> I think he got some really great photos um, I can't wait to see them whenever he's done editing them probably six months so that brings us here to Wednesday it is time for us to leave and we had a great time on our little vacation um, we might stop by Geelong a little bit on our way back just to check out the iconic spot with the, um, the buildings that's painted, the rainbow colors, and make our way back to what I'm guessing is rainy Taipei. Um, but we had a great time on this birthday trip. I hope Bobby had a great time. He said he had a great time. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this was a nice little vacation, get away from the city, to be in the mountains, to be with nature, so there's still lots to see around this area that we have to come back, lots of great hiking, um, so I'm sure we'll make a trip back here someday. Well, that's it for our little vacation. We will make our way back to Taipei now, so friends and family and future me, thank you so much for being here, and I will talk to you later. Bye!